and by it being despised, you let it exist, but you let it exist with the understanding that it's supposed to be, supposed to be mistreated. If you tell it to do something and it doesn't do it and it begins to run away from you, you shoot it. It's a it. It's a thing. It's even something that you can't even describe as being on the level of a dog. Because after all, I mean, you know, a dog does have some type of proportionate something that you can value. But this thing in the form of a person that you call a black person, you don't know what that is. Except it's something you're supposed to if you are classified as white. And even if you are classified as black, you are su- supposed to despise that thing, and not only express it in words every now and then, not so much in the modern days, but you certainly express it in your actions toward it. Put it last on your list of things that are supposed to be given any kind of constructive consideration. And this is the society that we're in, worldwide. And that's another thing. Stop talking about in the Northwestern Hemisphere. This is worldwide, always has been. White supremacy is everywhere. There's no place you can go where it doesn't reign supreme. That's what it means by supreme. That's everywhere, in every area of activity. Economics. They control it. If there's any people of color calling themselves having some kind of economic system that's not subject to the white supremacists, you're fooling yourself. Education. They hoard all the knowledge and have you come to them to get it, to have it set up like that. And they tell you how much of it you can get. And not only that, if you're a person of color, they tell you what you can use it for and what you better not use it for. And they got the muscle to back it up. And then that's economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. And if you have color in your skin, they dominate your movements in all of these areas of activity, truth be told.